Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we are back with another Ace Impressions, this time having a look at Battlefield 2042. Now this admittedly is the part where I would normally be showing gameplay footage, however, at this point, after about two hours of playing, the game is no longer able to connect to the servers right now. So instead, feel free to enjoy the pre-release trailer footage that I'm using in the background. That said, let's now move on to whether or not this game is worth the $60 asking price. And the answer, at least for right now, is no. And there are two major reasons for this, the first being that the specialist experiment itself actively works to the detriment of the game. This is sadly even true for the portal mode, as the various classes for the Battlefield 1942, Bad Company 2, and Battlefield 3 teams are all glorified reskinned specialists. This means that in Battlefield 1942, for example, you can't spawn as a medic, kill an engineer, and then use the debt packs from the engineer kit to kill a tank. As while you will be able to pick up the engineer's primary weapon, you're still going to be stuck with the medical supplies. On the other hand, in Battlefield 3, this problem gets even more profound because it means that each of the classes is going to force one of the two gadget options onto you no matter what. Every recon that you see in Battlefield 3 will have the tugs equipped as a gadget. Gadget. So needless to say, the specialist experiment by DICE has been a colossal failure. And while I will give them some credit for trying to do something new, it simply does not work. And speaking of things simply not working, let's talk about the biggest issue by far right now for Battlefield 2042. The bugs. This game is simply not finished. Even if we ignore the fact that right now I cannot connect to the server to even play the game, I still experienced a constant onslaught of issues in the two hours that I did play. Issues such as invisible enemies, invisible weapons, invisible vehicles, invincible enemies, and no, this does not appear to be hacks, by the way. And even when I could see the weapons or be able to aim down sights, I still had issues, such as the sights being misaligned. So so the shots wouldn't even go where the sights said they should. Now admittedly, most of the issues that I've experienced have been on the multiplayer side of things. And I should point out to the game's credit that there is a single player mode as well. Although you still need to maintain an always online connection to access that too. I will say, at least to some credit, that there is a way to avoid most of the bugs. Unfortunately, the single player maps tend to be pared down in comparison to their multiplayer counterparts, with the number of players, in this case bots, also reduced as well. And in in addition to that, bots will never join your squad. Although the fact that DICE even put in the effort to include a bot support mode is something that I will still highlight as a strong point for the game, especially given that it's been about 15 years since the last time that I've had a proper non-linear campaign single player experience on a Battlefield game. In addition to that, I will also say that the portal mode is a sign of hope in its own right as well to some extent. But even then, even if you plan on picking this up, I would still have to recommend waiting at least six months months for DICE to fix the problems. Whatever you do, do not pick this game up right now. Please do yourself and everyone else a favor and just wait. Wait for DICE to realize that they have royally screwed up what should have been an utterly fantastic game and wait for them to fix it. I still think there is potential here myself down the road, which is why I plan on making a follow-up video in about six months. And we will see then if it is worth your time. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. Oh.